Recordology. Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. So glad you're here. So today's show is going to be very unique, not something we have ever done before. That's because we're reviewing this. This is the Apollo Neuro, and I'm going to tell you what it does and why I have it and my thoughts on it and kind of show you some stuff about how to operate it and whatnot. Now you may have seen this in some of my videos because I've been testing this for the last 30 days. So let's start by an unboxing. I'm going to show you what it looked like new. Then I'm going to show you what it's looking like this point in time after using it every day, all day for a month, a little over actually. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on whether or not it works. Now why did I even go down this road? I actually suffer from anxiety. So I was very excited to see something like this that may help me in this regard. For those of you that have anxiety and panic attacks, you will understand how awful that is and why I would be motivated to do something to help with that. So big question is, has it helped? I'm gonna let you know at the end of this video, but first let's unbox. Now you guys know what a sucker I am for good packaging. And this one definitely lived up to that mark. As you can see here, it is very well designed. I love the colors. I love the graphics here. This shows the different modes. And we'll look at that a little bit closer later on. But it's really cool. So basically you dial up what mode you need or want. And this literally helps train your brain. And I think that's really, really cool. There's also some FAQ in there. I did feel that I still had some questions after looking at this. One of the first questions I actually contacted him on was, how do I shut this thing off? Now, keep in mind, when I got my first smartphone, I also had that same question and same answer was, you don't shut it off. It just, <laughs> you run it into the ground and then when you need to charge it, you charge it. But it's cool, it's made here in the USA. The packaging is nice. I love their, you know, color schemes and whatnot. And you may say that's silly, but actually I think that's an important piece of the overall thing. It helps in, you know, instill confidence that this is a purposeful product. This isn't just some cheap thing. And speaking of quality, it does feel like it has a decent amount of heft out of the box. It comes with a charging cable. You need to provide the power brick. And it comes with an extra wrist strap as well. I don't know if this is a larger one or another one of the same size. Hopefully my fat wrist can fit into the regular one, which I was able to find out later. It did do just fine. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and unstrap it here. It uses kind of that, I don't know how to describe it, but it's Velcro, but it's not the typical latch Velcro that's super bushy. It uses kind of a thin Velcro material. And a metal buckle and the fabric strap, it's an elastic fabric strap. And there's a look at the case. It's curved to kind of fit the contour of your wrist or your ankle if you choose to wear it that way. More on that later. There is a little blue LED light that basically flashes when you are communicating with the device. It does use Bluetooth, and I don't typically like leaving my Bluetooth on all day. However, I didn't notice a major battery drain because I think it's only using that Bluetooth when you bring up the app and communicate with it. The other time that light is in use is when it's charging. I believe it goes kind of a yellow when the battery is dead and green when it's fully charged. So back when I started this video here a month ago, I didn't realize that I needed to rotate it towards the inside of my wrist as shown in the drawing there. And it's just a more sensitive part of your skin, of your arm, of your wrist. And so it, it feels better there, it makes more sense. At first I was like kind of apprehensive, I was like, that's kind of weird, but it does work better. And you know, you pretty much got everything you need right out of the box. So it kind of looks like a smartwatch. It definitely turns some heads and you'll definitely have to explain what it is to a couple different people. It doesn't make any audible sound unless you put it up to your ear. And literally the only thing you feel are vibrations. There's no electrical shock. There's nothing weird going on. Nothing enters your skin, thank God. It's literally just vibrations. So depending on what mode you pick, the frequency or speed of those vibrations change. And you can change that up or down to suit your comfort levels as well. Okay, and now let's look at the app itself. I'm using the iOS version of the app, but there is one for Android as well. So on the screen here, you can see the charge level at the top, the fact that it's connected, all of the different modes that you can select. And also, this is really cool, you can go down to favorites and you can pre-program favorites. I'll show you how to do that in a minute as well. 
Now you can earn badges for different things that you achieve. I did notice that sometimes my daily streak was off because I used it every single day. And as you can see, my daily streak doesn't go up to 30 full days, even though I know I used it for 30 days, but it's kind of cool to be able to collect badges. I think that that's sort of a nice touch. So there are many things that you can do in here in terms of not just accumulating the badges, programming in your favorites, but also just bouncing back and forth between the individual modes. Here's one you can select the uh, whether or not it's a favorite or not with the heart. You can play and pause it, and you can also go to the drop-down menu and select the duration that you want it to run for. I found myself wanting a lot of these to run for more than they had a preset in order to do. You know, you can reset each individual function you're playing from the device itself or from the app, but I found myself really wanting all of these to go for at least 120 minutes. And as I said, I, I use this a lot. Maybe I use it a little too much, but for me, that was my experience. One more thing I wanna to mention too is, one of the questions I had early on for Apollo and the people that put this together was, is this training my mind to respond to these vibration patterns or is it truly communicating something that my body will already understand? And I was pleased to hear that it is communicating something that your body should already understand. Okay, so here it is after a month of usage. It's held up fine. I mean, the band has gotten a little gunky. I haven't switched over to the backup band, but it seems to work well. It does take a long time to charge. That may be because the brick that I'm using is a lower wattage brick, but it pretty much takes all night to charge. So once you're uh, drained on the battery, you need to realize it's not gonna be a quick charging device, but it's comfortable. And this piece right here, this buckle is metal and it uses basic Velcro to connect. It's got typical wear, I would say. I've scratched this sort of metal piece a couple of times. You can actually pull this strap all the way through that metal buckle and it's just a smooth piece of plastic on the other side. As you can see, it's sort of shifted around a little bit. I think that this buckle is supposed to be closer to here and then this um, Velcro strip is supposed to be further that way, but it doesn't really matter, whatever's comfortable. But yeah, that's what it looks like now. The build quality, I feel like it's 3D printed. I feel like they've cut cost on the build quality of what's on the outside, the casing. I would like to see it be more of like a Apple Watch metal glass, stuff like that. Plus it is, it is really thick. That being said, there were times I didn't even realize I had it on. So uh, I think it's done well. Okay, so it's been 30 days. I've used it every single day during that time. The quick answer is yes, it has helped. It is not a magic cure that as soon as you strap this on, by the way, that's on wrong, I just did that for the video. You, I really wear it on the inside of my wrist right there. It's not something that you that will, in my experience, and let me preface this all by saying that I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist, a psychologist, any of that. I'm not qualified in whatsoever to diagnose, treat any condition. I'm just telling you my own personal experience and personal opinion and my perceptions of this device. Now it is pricey. It is a pricey device. So when you invest in something like this, you know, it's, it's understandable that you're doing your research and you wanna find out Will it work? And again, the short answer is yes, it does help. So on the very first day I put it on, I noticed that the vibrations were very soothing. I personally liked it. However, on the second day, I actually had a panic attack while wearing this. And I don't have them that often. I definitely don't think it was because of this. I think it was in spite of this. But in the moment when I had that panic attack, I'm sweating, I, you know, it, I wanted, my initial instinct was rip it off. I honestly was like, you know what, I don't want this on me right now. The vibrations started feeling kind of like, uh, kind of a pins and needles feeling when your you know, arm or your hand or your leg or whatever, your foot goes to sleep. Hopefully your arm's not going to sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, it was just irritating. That being said, I haven't really experienced any issues uh, at all while I've had this. And I, again, I don't really attribute that to this. I think it was just in spite of it. So in the acute moment for me, it did not help, you know, with that panic attack. Overall though, I feel like it's helped me to be calm and to be more aware of my state of anxiety or lack thereof. As we looked at before, there's different modes and I find that I really benefit from the ones in the evening because that's kind of when I 
and really worked up. And we've talked before about how I like ambient sounds and whatnot to calm down. So this uh, has really helped in that regard, putting on those, uh, those nighttime modes and those calm down modes. And uh, so yeah, I think that's a, a very beneficial. And overall, within 30 days, I have noticed that I feel that I am calmer overall and very in tune with that. I'm paying more attention to it. So my thoughts on the actual device, I, I believe I said this um, uh, a minute ago, but I think that it is, I feel like it's built a little cheaply. It kind of feels like it's a 3D printed thing. Um, the hardware I think could be improved upon. The price point is already pretty high, especially for something that it's like, it's a new product. So, you know, taking the leap on something that expensive is nerve wracking. And then, so I'm, you know, assuming all the technology and all the investment is primarily on what's going on inside, which is what's important, right? But at the same time, you know, you compared to like an Apple watch or something, this is nothing. It's, it's lightweight plastic and it, it just is what it is. It's not durable, it's not waterproof. They, it doesn't even, they, I don't think they even say it's water resistant, maybe slightly water resistant. So I feel like the build quality uh, could be improved upon if they can get the manufacturing cost in line. And I think that's the key thing. So I'd like it to be metal and glass, heavy duty, and uh, have those waterproof attributes. I also think that since you're wearing it on your wrist, that it would make sense that it tells you the time. Because oftentimes I'm like, what time is it? Oh yeah, this is totally the time. You know what I mean? Not making a full blown smartwatch, but at least basic, you know, screen time, that would be seemingly a cheap and uh, a, a nice benefit to have. They say that a lot of people like to wear it on their ankle because it's soothing. For me, I didn't feel it was as soothing in that place and it kind of forgot about it sometimes. Plus, it looked like I was wearing an ankle monitor, like I was out on parole or something. And I've never been out on parole or having any trouble in that regard. And I want to keep it that way and I don't want to leave the appearance that I am having that happen. So even when you hide it with a sock, it looks like an ankle monitor. So uh, I wanted to avoid that for sure. Uh, I enjoy having the buttons on there to increase and decrease the intensity. And I like the fact that the range of uh, intensity doesn't go to completely off. It gives you an actual range. So you can go down to 5% and still feel it or up to 100% and you know you can feel the difference there. The other thing that was a bit of a drawback for me was the battery life. The first couple days I had it, I could almost do two days on a charge. And as of the last week or so, um, it's been dying on me sometimes five or six o'clock. Now I'm using it constantly. And I think it was more designed to be, you know, wear it a couple hours here. And they say wear it at least two hours. And I'm like, at least two hours. I want to wear this a lot. So maybe I'm just using it too much, but I run out of juice by five or six o'clock fairly often. I mean, it's common that I don't make it uh, to the point where I can use the bedtime, you know, sleep mode with it. Um, I haven't tried sleeping with it, by the way. I've had it in and out of the airport a couple of times. It was it went through security fine. They didn't give me any grief. It was really nice to have on the airplane. There were a couple of times when we were in situations that I believe would have triggered anxiety or panic in me while wearing this that I did not feel that panic. I can't 100% say that it's because of this, but it's possible. So I would like to think that it really helped in that regard. So at the end of the day, I would recommend it with those caveats just to be aware of, to understand what you're getting. It does what it does well. I feel like that's the most important thing. It doesn't have bells and whistles and you know it's kind of clunky, but at the same time, it's become sort of a soothing thing. I hope it doesn't become a safety blanket you know, where I you know, need it arbitrarily without a good just cause. But at the same time, I do feel that it's been a, a, a good thing to have in my life. So if you are interested in snagging one of these. I'll put the link in the description below. Do your research out there. And for me, um, it's been a good thing. It's definitely been a good thing. It's been an interesting experience. So anyway, that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.